Hello, this is Robert from the Kim Continuum Installation of Oracle 10G Racked using VMware on CentOS 4. Um, I've just cloned the second node, and this is the first time it's come up. So I'm going to log in to Rack 2 or Node 2. Um, log in as Oracle. Uh, I'm sorry about this noise. Our neighbor, this car is, the alarm is playing up. Possibly it's got a fly or something in there. Or maybe a bee. Anyway, uh, I need to do some changes here. Um, and we are pretty much near the end of um, Linux or system installation. We need to amend the bash and the profile and change rack 1 to rack 2, as or Oracle C is going to be called rack 2 in this particular node. The other thing we need to change is our networking. Um, obviously, as we clone the system, still it thinks that it's a node 1, but it's going to be node 2. Um, so we edit, we change 101 to 102, don't have any router. It's a good idea to probe to get a new uh, MAC address. And similar in here, change 101 to 102. Probe here to uh, hardware. We don't need to do anything. IP DNS. DNS. We need to change the node to 2. Hosts is common to both server. So let's save it and quit. Uh, let's log in as root. And let's restart networking to make sure the changes are applied. Um, while this is happening, I will go to our first node and look in there as Oracle as well. Um, all we need to do now make sure that we can see the other server from so it can see itself um, I wonder if we need to restart Let's start networking on this one as well. Wow. It's not surprising, it gives an error. Go to second node and make sure you can ping itself. And first one. We don't need to do anything in the second one anymore. Let's go back to the first node. Um, 
install clone machine, that's what we have done. Let's see, we cloned it. Uh, we changed the networking. And now we have changed this. So we didn't see the networking is possible because it was coming up and we were doing both together and that's why we didn't see that but we don't need to do anything we just leave it as it is um, let's try private networking as well time to copy the Oracle cluster where software um, I use I will use Sigwin I'll go to Sigwin and I use a CP will just um, scroll 10 cluster here and we want to put it on the Oracle Yes, and here's the password. Um, let's make sure that it's actually going to copy the cross. That's good. Um, so once we have the file across here, we'll unzip it and run the cross verification. It's a good uh, tool to have and uh, to run. It will catch all the bits which we have missed so far, if any. Um, instead of like going ahead and it's trying to run install and finding all sorts of issues there, this will catch lots of um, the gotchas before we get there. So I like to run um, and make sure that uh, all the errors are if there is any errors to fix them before I go to the next step. Um, let's have a look. This copy is finished. The file is there. Let's, let's do unzip. Hmm. Permission denied. Okay. Actually, it is. I am Oracle, so I don't think it's the permission, but here the file has got no. It's Shemodit 755. Okay, let's try one more on zip. Okay, that's good. Um, What I will, um, what I will do once I will actually, it's a good place to stop here, um, and come back in the next session and start actually playing with Oracle application, uh, Oracle software, and doing stuff with Oracle. So we'll stop this session, and on the next session I will start and running the clusterware and everything else. Okay, this is Robert Manikin installing. Oracle Rack 10G release 2 on VMware using CentOS 04. See you in the next session. Bye.